Live tonight will discuss the role of traditional rulers in nation building, featuring the Oni of Ife, Eju Lupe, Emir of Zazo, Eze Iweka III, Emir of Lafia, Egbere Emere Okori of Elame Kingdom. Join us to listen to the wisdom of these custodians of our culture and heritage. We're privileged to be joined by some highly revered traditional rulers across the country. Uh, it's my pleasure to uh, begin to introduce them at this point. May I welcome uh, to this program His Royal Highness Al Haji Yahya Abu Bakr, CFR, the Etunupi, and uh, Chairman, Niger State Council of Traditional Rulers and Coordinating Chairman, National Traditional Rulers Council of Nigeria. He joins us from Bida, Niger State. Uh, Your Royal Highness Bagadoji, thank you for joining us on NT Tuesday Live. Let me also welcome to this program the Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty, Oba Adeyeye Enitongusi, or Jaja II, he joins us from Ilefe. Also joining us tonight on the program, His Royal Highness, Justice Sidi Mohammed Bagi, Emir of Lafia and Chairman Council of Chiefs, Nasara State, is a retired Justice of the Supreme Court, he joins us from Lafia. We'll be privileged to also have with us His Royal Highness Malam Ahmed Nuhu Bamali, CFR, the Emir of Zazo and Chairman Kaduna State Council of Chiefs. He joins us from Zaria. Your Royal Highness, we welcome you to NTA Tuesday Live. Let me also introduce His Royal Highness King Apollos Chu, OFR. The Egbere Emere Okori and One E in Chair the Tenth of Eleme Kingdom in River State. He joins us from Port Harcourt. And uh, also, also uh, joining us tonight will be His Majesty Igwe Chibudem Iweka, Eze Iweka the Third, the traditional ruler of Ubusi. We at this point go over to His Royal Highness. King Apollos Chu, OFR, the Egbere Emere Okori and Ode E Incha the Tenth of Eleme Kingdom in River State. He joins us from Port Harcourt. Uh, Royal Highness, thank you for being with us. And uh, well, as you've been following uh, the discussion, it's about what the traditional institution can bring to the table in, uh, with regard to nation building. It used to be when the institution was highly revered and uh, traditional rulers performed both administrative, traditional uh, uh, functions. In fact, in many communities, they were seen as direct representatives of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of God and us. Uh, it doesn't seem the same way now, and as His Imperial Majesty just said, it's when it comes to politics you find all the politicians visiting palaces and remembering that uh, uh, the traditional rulers are closest to the people. But beyond that, it's been made a largely ceremonial thing. How is it uh, that we are in this position? and? What can the traditional institution do to get back on board and be part of uh, the development of the nation as a key part, especially in these times when things are, uh, have gone awry? Where we are today, um, it is not it is new to us. Uh, the problems of our varied domain, our state, and the entire nations. I still believe that um, politicians have more, have more to do in strengthening traditional institutions. They have to understand that we are not arrival to them, that uh, we are there to give them all necessary support. 
just as my previous speakers, my colleagues have stated, that a traditional institution is not made by government. A traditional institution was instituted by God, by nature. It has been there. And uh, let's draw attention to a few, let us go down to history. We can also see that the uh, politicians, when they have a situation, any administration that lost control of the society, they fall back, back to gather traditional rulers together that they should intervene by talking to their people, holding their very domain peaceful, and counsel their people from all sorts of violence. If we are not important, they will not fall back to us. Anytime there's a crisis, the first people they look at is to neither go down to the palace or not the summer traditional rulers. Then they say they really know that you are very important in everything we are doing. If you also come down to even when government is carrying out various projects in various communities, every project that they are carrying out, all projects will make up their milestone achievement during their various administrations are uh, carried out almost 98% of it in the various communities and they left those projects in the custody of traditional rulers to show that both the uh, ongoing project and both the finished project are protected. We have various roles that we play in securing improvement, development, in whatever government, whatever thing that we can find out that these are the things we can count on, that these are the development we are able to achieve from the independent day to today. Traditional will have various roles to secure that. They always leave those roles to a custody that we should try to protect it. Even coming down to some issues, community issues, local, local court, customary court, that will resolve issues where issues that bring some conflict will look at it to ensure that these issues are well addressed without escalation, spending more and more years in the cause, struggling to see that uh, the two, two brothers, two friends, two relatives, wherever, they are struggling, fighting in the court. But if that, that issue comes down to the palace or the court or police or individual summoned to the court or they are referred to the, to the, to the palace, we resolve those issues in less than two days. In some cases, a few hours, it is resolved. The matter that we are taking almost a year or two in the court or even go to appeal. We play all level of vital role. All these roles I'm counting are sustainability of the role of traditional ruler and also the performance and the security of development that the every administration that always come on board, they try to perform on executing one project or the other. We have more things we do to see that we educate our people all government projects, all government programs. Okay, new administration is coming on board. We also believe that that's why all appointment to every ministry, prosecutors of government, they will see all, they will see fall back to government, to the traditional ruler. But when it comes to supporting government, they remember us. And when they, and what the instruments that we make them make us to function well for them, they have just, it's like a bed that you pull off all the wing, and you want that bed to fly. They want us to support the administration, support government, do all kinds, do all kinds of support. But the instrument that will give us that 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 strength to do what it will naturally bring support to them, we don't have it. That's why the traditional last, uh, last uh, constitutional amendment, they make an effort, House of Rest have passed the B of strengthening them. In the Senate, we are on the Senate, which they are still working hard to see that we see how the B to include us in 
in the, amend, the, in the Constitution of Nigeria. So we have a role we are playing. So legally, we'll be back up with a role that this is the functions that we, responsibilities that tie to traditional rulers. I just want to make the politicians, government, that we are not their enemies. We are just to support them. We are the fathers of the house. After, I and mean, one of the things that I always make uh, politicians should know is that, unknown to some of them, they are for sure king that after serving the public office, per eventual, they could be a, a letter or selected by their people for them to see become a king. So if they are there now for them to put in proper strength, proper structure that will strengthen the institution, when they come forward to who, when they make them a traditional ruler, they will see that they are already, when they were there, they disarm the instrument that they crowd, empower that individual for various community to function where they, they neglected it when they were having privilege to do it. So whatever advocacy we are making, we are not making for our personal uh, benefit, we are making it because of the future and how and the future and even them that they, when they fall back to the, to the community and sometimes they have been elected or selected, they will already have a structure that will strengthen their leadership in the future when they come. So I will really, really uh, appeal that uh, more power of traditional rulers are seen in the hands of politicians. And for them to remove us from the constitution is already a disarm in us. So if they will consider the movement of traditional rulers in saying that we are include, included in the constitution, that will give us, put our two feet strong on the feet. And then we'll, when we are talking, we know we have a backup by the constitution. Now we are doing our best without no any instrument any support, any backup, no legal backup. But we are sitting on our own. As a father, we are, we are not going to be angry and say because they, they, are, they are embarrassing us or neither they have um, they not equipped us or remove all traditional um, instruments that we have to work with. We didn't angry. We see tolerate them that with time, there will always be a moment of realization where they realize that uh, we need to do needful to strengthen the traditional institution which after the administration they will still come back as our subject. I will, as I will believe that by God's grace the new administration will come in and consider those, um, uh, those uh, appeal that traditional institutions have already made to the government and uh, consider it and actually see what they can do and uh, by doing that we to enhance us to do more better than what we are doing today. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Your Royal Highness.